what causes the difference in this? And this. Let's take a look at the setup in this investigation. In the center is the radiometer. To the left is the iPhone with a light meter application that detects the amount of light. And to the right is a thermometer that will measure temperature in degrees Celsius. We first see the radiometer at 8 a.m. The temperature is 25 degrees Celsius and it's 74 lux of light. A lux is one lumen of light over a square meter and there's no spinning. Now we're about an hour later at 9 a.m. The temperature is 24 degrees Celsius and the amount of light is at 248 lux. Now you can see the radiometer has started to spin and we can measure the spinning rate. We can see how many times it goes around for every second. And so the spinning rate at this point in time is 0.1 spins per second. Now we're at 9.42 a.m. The temperature is 24 degrees Celsius and the amount of light is 248 lux. Doesn't look like the spinning has increased too much. Well, let's take a closer look at the spinning rate. The spinning rate is 0.125 spins per second, so it's increased a little bit. Now it looks like it's spinning a little bit faster. Let's see what the time is. So the time is 12.02 p.m., so that's about almost two, three hours later. So the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius, and the amount of light is 330 lux. Let's take a closer look at the spinning rate. The spinning rate has increased to 0.75 spins per second. Now the time is 12.56 p.m. Temperature is 25 degrees Celsius and the amount of light is 496 lux. Let's take a look at the spinning rate, see if it's changed at all. The spinning rate is 0 0.90 spins per second, so it has increased a little bit. Now the time is 3 p.m. The temperature is 26 degrees Celsius and the amount of light is 387 lux. The spinning rate is 0.55 spins per second, so it has decreased a little bit during that time. The time is now 3.32 p.m. The temperature is 27 degrees Celsius and the amount of light is 620 lux. Let's take a look at the spinning rate. It is 1.22 spins per second. So it has increased significantly since we last saw it. It looks like the spinning rate has increased dramatically. The time at this point is 3.41 p.m. The temperature is 28 degrees Celsius and the amount of light is 991 lux. Let's see what the actual spinning rate is. It's 4.25 spins per second. So again, my students wonder, is it the temperature or is it the amount of light that's affecting the spinning rate of the radiometer? So here's the temperature data. So we have a low of 24 degrees Celsius and a high of around 28 degrees and you can see the spinning rate goes from a 0 to 4. Here we have the amount of light and we can see that the light dramatically increases from you know less than 100 lux to all the way up to close to 1000 lux. What do you think? Which one do you think is the factor that determines it? Is it one or the other or do both play a role? What do you think?